before talking about cellular responses, let's know what is homeostasis. Cells are constantly facing difficulties due to changes in their environment. They are adjusting their structure and functions to accommodate extracellular stress. When a cell is able to handle the normal physiological demands, maintaining a steady state, it is said to be in homeostasis. By homeostasis, intracellular environment is kept within a fairly narrow range of physiological parameters. Now let's see what happens to a cell when a cell is not able to maintain homeostasis due to increasing environmental stress. But before moving on, let me remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page to get notifications of our new release. Hello viewers, you are watching Pathology Discussion Forum and today's topic is Cellular Response to Stress and Noxious Stimuli. So let's know what happens to a cell when it loses its ability to maintain homeostasis due to rapid change in the surrounding environment. In case of unbearable or constant environmental stress, a cell responds in a few specific ways. These are cellular adaptations, cell injury, intracellular accumulation and cell aging. So what are cellular adaptive changes? Cellular adaptive changes include atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia and metaplasia. Atrophy is shrinkage in the size of a cell by loss of its substances due to decreased workload. For an example, the muscles of a limb are atrophied when the limb is immobilized during healing of a fracture. Hypertrophy is increase in the size of cells due to increased synthesis of structural components and that is not due to cellular swelling. This picture is showing cardiac muscle hypertrophy to counteract the excess stress due to hypertension. Hyperplasia is increase in the number of cells in an organ or tissue leading to increased size of the tissue. Example is proliferation of epithelium of female breast in puberty and during pregnancy. Metaplasia is reversible change in which there is replacement of one mature or differentiated cell type by another mature cell type. For an example, in case of smokers, columnar epithelium of the respiratory tract is replaced by relatively tough squamous epithelium to withheld the chronic harmful irritation caused by smoke. Now let's talk about cell injury. Sublethal or chronic injurious stimuli can cause reversible or irreversible cell injury and subcellular alterations. Irreversible injury may lead to cell death by necrosis or apoptosis. Now what is intracellular accumulation? Sublethal or chronic injurious stimuli as well as metabolic derangements can cause intracellular accumulation of normal cellular constituents, abnormal cellular constituents or pigments. The cell aging. It represents progressive accumulation over the years of sublethal injury that manifests with either cell death or inadequate response of cells to injury. Aging is influenced by genetic factors, diet, social environment as well as diseases like atherosclerosis, diabetes or osteoarthritis. Okay, that's it for now. In our upcoming videos, there will be in-depth discussion about each of the cellular adaptive changes. So, stay tuned to our channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page to get our upcoming videos instantly. Thank you.